this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the third episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features Joan Bias. Now for those of you who don't know who Joan Bias is, she is actually known to be a folk singer and also an activist. Many of her popular songs would include Diamonds and Rust, Farewell and jo uh, Angelina, Love is Just a Four Letter Word, Forever Young, Joe Hill, Sweet Sir Galahad, and We Shall Overcome, among many others. But in terms of her activist side, she would go out and fight for numerous of causes ever since uh, the 1950s when she first heard Martin Luther King with his uh, big speech and what he's doing for civil rights or what he has done for civil rights. She basically was heavily inspired and went on to fight for many different causes. Rather it be for the Iraq War or the Vietnam War or even fighting for LGBT rights or even just fighting for poverty or even uh, Occupy Wall Street. But anyways, uh, going into the episode that she has appeared in, I would have to say that it was a pretty good episode. Nothing too spectacular, nothing too out of the ordinary in terms of The Muppet Show, but it was still relatively good. Now, the big thing about this is that the story actually centers around the rats. Not necessarily Rizzo or any specific rat in particular, it's just a group of rats where they were pretty much plotting to go and take over the Muppet Show and they want to go step by step. So one way that they decided to do it was influence Beauregard to make them a a an ally, basically. And considering how dumb Beauregard usually is, like he just easily falls for it and somehow believes that he is the president of the rats now. And uh, what, what pretty much happens like in between all the numbers and stuff like that, it's just Beauregard and Kermit like in conflict right now because Kermit wants to get rid of the rats, but Beauregard wants to keep the rats because he thinks that like the rats are his friends and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, like it does bring out some funny moments. Like you do see a lot of like Beauregard is dumb jokes here and there, but you know, it's cute, it's nice, like, um, again, nothing that really stands out, like, uh, a, a major laugh out loud moment, it's just a lot of funny, generally funny moments, a lot of cute moments, there are some things that do work out. Now, in terms of the numbers themselves that appeared in this, um, this is more the kind of episode that's a bit on the variety side, more so than it would focus on the episode itself. There is only one bit that really does focus with all the rats, and that would have to be the Pigs in Space episode when there's one rat that decided they want that he wanted to join uh, the Swine Trek crew, but it didn't really work out as well, or at least not as well for Link Hogthrob. Uh, but for many of the other ones, the opening number is actually all the different like generic animal Muppets. They would sing a song called "Man Smart, Critter Smarter." Which is a, um, which is pretty much a parody of man smart, women smarter. But honestly, it is a little bit weird hearing it because I guess the best way to put it is that this is a white interpretation of a Calypso song. And the thing is with Calypso songs, they work a lot better when they are done like like you need like I think the best way to put it is that you do need a bit of an accent if you want to go with Calypso songs because like in here it, it just sounds a bit off when you hear it. it's like that's right the creators are smarter it's like I don't know it just it sounds too white I think that's the best way to put it like I do get like the way that they want to go like trying to make more of a parody of the song like instead of having like a uh, uh, a and like a song in which that empowers women, like, the message is now switched to more of an environmental message where, like, animals are pretty much smarter than man, like, uh, trying to blow up factories and, uh, like, trying to get rid of pollution and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, like, basically switch a feminism message to a uh, environmental message. That That's pretty much the big goal of that number. And then there's also another one where Floyd and uh, Janice would actually be uh, playing like on their bass and their guitars just singing Blackbird. It was a nice little number, uh, nothing too big, just uh, a, a little simple one where Floyd would be singing to Blackbird and that's pretty much it. 
And then uh, also there's another one where Fozzie tries to do uh, an act like based on like a forest theme considering the opening number was like entirely forest theme with all the little critters and stuff like that but yeah he would fuzzy as usual he would just fail to do so uh any other ones i guess like the rest would have to be with uh joan bias and her numbers like mo most of the other ones they're more simple like she doesn't have anything too big to be involved with this episode in particular she's mostly there to just be the guest star to sing many of her different songs some of these would include honest lullaby and then afterwards right at the end oh there oh yeah there's also that one i forgot about that um she would go and sing the night they drove old dixie down and then there's the grand finale with uh will the circle be unbroken with ev like it's kind of like this uh, special effect that they've done with all the muppets just like you know holding hands and they're all dancing in a circle um so yeah like you just got that little preachy song right there and then like you got a cute moment with uh, joan where she wanted to do her impression of marlon brando and the godfather but yeah that's the whole thing with her is that she's not necessarily fully involved with this episode or she well what i mean is that like the story doesn't necessarily center around her or she's not as heavily involved with the story. She's mostly there as the special guest star. So I would say that overall with this episode, it's good. There's nothing really to complain about. I wouldn't really think of anything that's really bad about this. But then again, I wouldn't think of anything that would be so spectacular that would make this as a massive highlight of this season. But it's just generally good. I laughed at a few moments. I liked a lot of the songs. You know, it was a simple, fun episode to watch that actually stars Beauregard. So, yeah, that's the whole thing with this episode. It's just generally good. Not great, but it's good for what it is. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this episode of the Muppet Vlog. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see if there's going to be anything that will stand out in the next episode. Or if we're going to have less of a rat infestation in the next episode. But... We will only know until next time, so see you later, dudes!